Adding music not only helps make your photos more interesting. It also adds a professional touch. In this video, let's take a look at how to add background music to any photos in three easiest ways. You can use Movavi Video Editor to add music to your photos in just a couple clicks. To get started, click the link in the description box below to visit the website getvideoeditor.com. Hit the Try Free button to download a free copy of the software. Once downloaded, open the installation file, then follow the installation instructions to open the software. Here is the software. Select the Easy Mode option. Drag and drop your photos into the working area. Change the order of the photos and delete any unwanted ones. Hit Next. Mavavi provides lots of royalty-free background music you can apply to your video. Add one or multiple tracks by clicking this plus icon. You can also upload your own music by clicking this plus music button. Now click next to open the transitions tab to choose the transition style you prefer. Next you can preview the final result here. Further click next and you can save the video if you are satisfied with what you have now. Or click this continue editing button to further customize your video in the full feature mode. For example, you can modify the transitions, customize the duration time of each photo, change background music, or add some text and other video effects etc. to your video. When done, click the export button to save it. KineMaster is one of the best video editing apps on Android, iPhone, or iPad right now. It packs in a ton of professional level functionality. You can also use it to add music to photos with ease. To begin download the app to your phone. Once you have it, open the app and here is what you see when you first open up the app. Before we jump into our editing project, it's a good idea to get your app set up. So go to the settings button down in the bottom left hand corner. Then editing settings, and choose an effect you like to be your default photo cropping effect. Once you've got the settings sorted, the first step is to create your project. Simply hit the big button in the middle there and select aspect ratio. This is the KineMaster editing interface. Tap on media, up the top right here, go through and find your photos. Once you tap on them, they appear down on your timeline. When you're done, hit the tick in the top right hand corner to go back to the editing mode. The next step then is to add some music to your photos. Tap the audio button, you will see an audio browser which shows all folders on your device that have audio files. To get more music, you can tap the KineMaster Asset Store button in the corner of the screen. Then select and download any music you like to your music assets folder. When you want to add the track to your photos, tap the plus icon. If you prefer not to install a software to your computer, adding music to photos with LightMV is a good choice. This is an online tool that is so easy to use that even first-time users can use it without any hassle. All you need to do is go to lightmv.com and log in with either one of your social media accounts, or you can sign up an account below. Once logged in, click the Get Started button. There are many themes for you to choose from, select a template you like.
Next click on this plus button and then upload all the photos that you will use. You can use the default music or add your own song. Type the intro text and outro text for the slideshow. Click the produce button to start generating the video. Once done, simply click the share button to upload to Facebook or Twitter. Please note a watermark will be added to your final video. If you want to download the video, you will have to purchase Lolis to enable the download button. There you have it. If you want to add music to your images the easy way, try my favorite Mavavi video editor. You can download it by clicking the link in the description box below to visit getvideoeditor.com and create your own slideshow in minutes. If you don't understand any step, please feel free to comment below, and I will help answer as soon as I can. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thanks.